What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I have a super fun manicure tutorial to show you. I'm super excited about this. I had this idea in my head to do like mint chocolate chip kind of ice cream, but I wanted to make the ice cream matte and the like fudge on top be glossy. So that's what this manicure is and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So let's just get started. So I'm going to be using my base coat. I'm also using a nice little minty color. This color is chillax. I have all the polishes that I'm using in the description. I'm also using a nice chocolatey fudge brown color as well as a lighter brown color and white for my sprinkles and matte top coat which is very important for the ice cream as well as glossy top coat for my fudge. I'm gonna be using a couple of different brushes you can just use one I just didn't feel like cleaning my other one <laughs> and I'm gonna be using a dotting tool again this is an optional one so I'm just gonna start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat and once that's dry, I'm going to go in with a couple of coats of my nice minty green color. You can also use just whatever color you want to be the ice cream. I actually hate mint, but I thought it would make such a pretty little contrast with the chocolate. So once that's dry, I'm going to go in with my matte top coat, which I wouldn't normally do it at this stage of the manicure, but we are having two different textures on this manicure. So I am going to have a matte base with a glossy top. So now I'm just going to take some of my chocolatey brown color and I'm going to take my dotting tool. And this is the easiest way for me to to do drips and I do this for Halloween bloody drips. I do it for ice cream drips. I just do it all the time. So I'll just do like three to four random dots on each nail. And then I will take my little nail art brush. I just try to use a nice really thin brush and I'll draw like a little line from each of those dots. And then I'll make like a U shape to connect them. And then I'll just start to fill everything in. So it's easier to watch than it is to explain. So you guys can just see I'm sort of starting to make them little tears. Now you can make this drip from your cuticle if you want. I wanted it to drip from the free edge of my nail. So I guess to you guys, it looks upside down, but the way I was filming it, it was right side up. So it really doesn't matter either way. And you can also put the dots in different parts on each of your nails so that there's like a little slight variation on each nail, which I love the way that looks. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. Now, normally I would say, you know, you can just throw caution to the wind because at the end of it, we're going to all have the same texture, but I do want to be a little bit careful because I don't want to mess up anything because I already have the matte top coat down and that's already my texture that's finished. I'm not going to be putting regular top coat on that. So just try your best not to make any mistakes because it is going to be a little bit difficult to cover it up. So once my little fudge drippings are dry, I'm going to take my brown and my white polish and I'm just going to create little sprinkles, which is literally just a small line. So because there is no top coat over this fudge color, it is going to be a little lumpy and bumpy. So the straight lines are not as easy as you might think, but again, you can just go over it as much as you need to. And this you can actually, if you make any mistakes, you can just go back in with that dark brown color and just cover it up. So you're totally good. You don't have to worry. And if you want, you can just make these rainbow sprinkles or you can skip the sprinkles entirely and just have some nice fudge drippies. I don't know, however you guys like your ice cream. I mean, or however you want it to look on your nails because like I said, I hate mint ice cream. It's gross. It's like toothpaste. Anyway. Okay, so now here's the weird part. Now, if you have a thin top coat brush, you can totally use that. But since my Cuccio top coat is a wide flat brush, I'm just going to take another paint brush and I'm going to use that and take it with my top coat and take like a nice bead of top coat and I'm going to cover up the whole whole part of my nail that has the fudge and the ice cream and that's just a to make it super glossy and b to even out that color and also c because i'm doing like a nice thicker coat so it kind of almost has like a little bit of a gel like it's raised and it's a little bit three-dimensional on my nails so i thought that would be just so cool i love the way it turned out and even when it dries it is a little bit raised up against the matte finish of the ice cream color so this is so super cool i would wait longer than i ended up waiting I ended up waiting like 5-10 minutes after I did the little sprinkles, but I would wait longer because I did end up smudging them a tiny bit. And since you are going over it with a paintbrush, it is easier to smudge rather than with just a regular top coat. You do like as few swipes as possible. So anyway, that's how this looks. That's the finished product and that's how I did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little summer manicure for you guys to have before I start going into all of my exciting fall stuff. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Nail art Sundays and let me know in the comments if you have any other videos that you want to see and I'll talk to you guys later so bye